So I guess while I was at the pool today, not looking at my phone, all hell broke loose on Twitter. And I'm just trying to catch up with what's going on, but it looks like it's a mess. It's a total mess. Uh, but this is basically um, what I saw. <laughs> this is kind of funny. Uh, verified accounts hacked, you know, me with zero followers. This is me. And this is literally what I did. I saw it at while I was at the pool and I saw it kind of start and I immediately like just, uh, it didn't bother me at all, you know, what was going on. So uh, yeah, interesting. In case you don't know, it looks like a bunch of uh, Twitter accounts got hacked and I, I don't know, you know, right now it's going to be tough to determine what which tweets are real and which ones aren't. I don't know, I don't know how far they are to fixing this and, and securing everything, but it seemed very widespread and it wasn't, some people are saying it was just verified accounts, but it's not. It, it happened uh, across the board to a lot of different people. So uh, it was a widespread attack. And it looks like they got uh, like $100,000 worth of Bitcoin or something. Now the the silver lining here definitely is the fact of all of these huge verified accounts with millions and millions of followers were tweeting about Bitcoin, about people sending them Bitcoin. So that's actually good experience exposure in a way, I guess, for Bitcoin. Maybe it kind of, it paints it maybe a bad picture because, you know, it looks like scammers are using it, but, um, or hackers, but it, it at least brings an awareness. Like maybe there's people out there right now are going like, man, what is this Bitcoin thing? How can you, you know, how does this work and stuff? So I don't know, maybe, maybe we'll see something positive out of it, but nonetheless, here we are at the back, back at the top of another Savage Dream. If you like crypto mining content like this, I know I'm not really talking about <laughs> crypto mining stuff just yet, I'm talking about the Twitter hack, but if you like content like this, like crypto mining stuff, be sure to subscribe to the channel, set the notifications, like this video, and share this video. By the end of this one, you'll know how to mine Zcoin using NVIDIA GPUs and Simple Mining OS. So let's get into it. Let's check out what to mine real quick just to show you, this is the rig that we are going to be using tonight. Six GPU rig. And I've got my uh, power cost here at 10.3 cents. And you can see here that Zcoin is still at the top. It has been at the top for this particular rig for quite some time now. Probably more than a week or at least a week or about a week. And I think we checked some of the other cards and it seems like they were pretty high up there also. Uh, it seems like not on the AMD side, but definitely on the NVIDIA side. So let's just do a common 1660 Ti right now. Okay, it's third down there, but still not bad, you know, still looking good. So that's why we're kind of talking about Zcoin again. Uh, you know, I think it's a, from what I'm learning, I need to learn a little bit more about it. I need to dive into the project a little bit more. It has been around a long time. It's a four year old project, which is amazing. They have really outlasted, you know, a huge market variation, you know, if you want to, whatever you want to call it. And they've still built and still providing uh, a product. So uh, that's something, there's something to be said about that. It is a privacy coin. You all, you all know how I love privacy coins. It's focused on financial privacy and freedom of commerce. That's kind of like their tagline. And Zcoin is not a fork of Zcash like a lot of people think. They use completely different cryptography. Zcoin uses RSA encryption and Zcash uses ZK Snarks. Uh, one other significant thing to point out, like I just did a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes ago or a minute ago, is that they launched in 2016. It's a f whole four years ago, you know, so it's done a lot in, in four years, you know, survived this huge market crash or whatever you want to call it that we've had, you know, the bear market. So pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to look into it a little bit more, learn about the nodes and all that kind of stuff. I just haven't had a whole lot of time, uh, but I did want to cover some mining aspects. So tonight we're going to be going over Simple Mining OS. And just to give you a little, not in, it's not even inside information, they're making it public, but I think that they are getting ready to do something huge. And by they, I mean Simple Mining. It seems like they are making a push to actually change the whole interface from what i understand i briefly looked at some of the the talk about it i need to get into their discord and kind of poke around in there 
But it seems like they are getting ready to release a, a, a major, major upgrade. So um, our interface change, uh, capability change, I don't, I don't know what all they're doing. They just recently went to Discord from, they used to use Rocket Chat. It was, um, I think it was like an open source chat program that pretty much anyone could use. Uh, but they just recently went to Discord. So it seems like they're uh, pulling themselves up into where everybody else already was. So hopefully they'll get more, uh, you know, p people using their platform and stuff. So, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I think it's a good thing. Uh, hopefully they get get a good look to this. I mean, I'll, I don't mind it the way it is right now, but you know, I'm, I'm simple, so no pun intended there. All right, so let's look at simple mining. You got, if you go to simplemining.net, you have to register, and this video is basically gonna assume that you already have done that part, but if you needed to, you would just go uh, to, let's see, I think if you just go, uh, see, I'm already logged in, you'd ha I'd have to log out to get to that part, but uh, basically you register. It's just like all the other, you know, any, any other service or online service that you're gonna uh, subscribe to or uh, get an account with you know you have to give them your email address they send you a, a validation email just to create that uh, link there and then once you verify your email you're able to log in so it's pretty pretty simple uh, pretty normal method of validating a user so once you get logged in then you can come down here to download and install and you have to pick which image you want they have two different ones now because they have to separate the drivers for the newer GPUs from the older GPUs. So I'm gonna be using um, the, what am I using? I'm using 10 series. So this is all NVIDIA except for those two, right? So that that's down here. So we're gonna be using this image right here in our uh, exercise tonight. So I'm just gonna click on that. I don't even know what, what version I have already downloaded. I should have done this already. Click download there. I don't have an account. It is already downloaded and see it up there though. So I think there's like two steps here that we have to do. There is probably a way of grabbing it a different way. Okay, so this is this is pretty normal, pretty usual stuff here. So I'm gonna save it there in the downloads folder. And then if you go back to their page here, it does have settings it's got all these configuration stuff and how to do the do the image burn and all that stuff so all the instructions are here pretty common it's it's a lot like you know the other os's so we will just go through the process here i'm going to fire up Belina etcher and that is what they oh this is what the page looks like whenever you first get to it um maybe i, eh, I don't know seems like there was a there's supposed to be like a, a create account or something like that. But again, I'm already logged in, so that's why it looks a little bit different. Um, let's see, so download and install. Yeah, here's here's all the settings. They talk about the Lena Etcher right here. So that is what we'll use. And I'm gonna be using a 32 gig small Samsung USB drive to boot the OS off of, to burn the image to and boot off of. So let's go ahead and fire up Belina Etcher. And the link again is right here. You know, if you need to download it and install it, it's on the Simple Mining OS webpage. So we're gonna select the image. I'm gonna choose the one that we just downloaded. Should be the latest. The target, I'm gonna insert the USB drive. And then, it already has an OS on it. And then we are going to see here yeah I don't really need to worry about that because we're gonna be wiping it out so just cancel all these if you get those and make sure that it's the right one the right drive um, if you've got the settings set for unsafe mode to be turned off then you, you should be okay it's not gonna like overwrite your uh, bootable drive or anything your your hard, local hard drive or C drive or nothing like that so um, really wouldn't be able to do that anyway but uh, it's just better to leave the on unsafe mode off, right? I always turn off eject on success and validate write on success. I always leave those off so I can get to the drive right away without uninserting it. So I'm going to click flash here. 
and then yes 